Hey there friends, I am back. It has definitely been a while. <laughs> um, I really have had no motivation whatsoever to film, but I'm back, here I am, woohoo, and I thought I would get back into the swing of things by showing you um, a few things that I got for my birthday and just what I've been buying online during this whole crazy time uh, with birthday money and just to lounge in and keep myself comfy, cozy, and sane. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what this video is. Let's jump right on in. The first thing is this right here, which you may have seen if you follow me on Instagram. Nathan got me this as my birthday present, so I have the necklace from Lord of the Rings, from the elves. So now I will basically live forever, immortal. The next one I'm actually wearing, it's this super oversized sweatshirt. I found this at Beale's outlet yesterday because um, they just opened here in Florida and I wanted something comfy and cozy to lounge in because that's pretty much all I'm wearing right now is comfy clothesy clothes. Um, I will have a whole video on some of that that you can check out if you want to. Um, so I'll see if I can find this online, but I don't know if it would be sold since it is obviously an, an outlet store and it tends to be things that are like last season or the season before that didn't sell. Um, but this is super on trend right now. It's really lovely oversized pullover sweatshirt. It is by the brand called Dreamsicle. Um, so I'll see if I can find it. I got it at Beals for $5 on sale on the clearance rack and it retails for $50. So that's pretty awesome. Then I managed to snag this rose gold hat for when Disney parks reopen, hopefully eventually here soon. Um, Disney Springs does open on the 20th for the third party um, restaurants and stores. So I could always wear it walking around there, but it is this really cute rose gold hat. I've had my eye on it for a while. It's at our local Walmarts, and it's just super cute with Minnie Mouse on it. Nice and shiny, sparkly sequins resembling the rose gold ears. I really like it, and um, yeah, I can't wait to wear it on a future Disney trip. Then, what else do we have here? Another piece for eventually wearing to Disney. This is from Target. Um, I got a Target gift card. We used, um, I got a desk for my office and a bookshelf, as well as just a couple pieces here and there. I found this in the kids section. Yeah, I know, I'm awesome like that. It is just so gorgeous. Elsa in her Frozen 2 outfit, and it just has like the woods behind her, and it goes down into like a, a regular dress, but it's got these pockets. Super fun, love the colors, love how bright and fun it is, and perfect for this warm weather that we're having, so gotta do a photo shoot with this eventually soon. Next up is scrunchies. Um, yeah, I'm really liking tie-dye right now. These were also at Beals and they are $3. Just some really fun like tie-dye long scarf ribbon strands. They had a lot of really fun colors, but I liked the tie-dye ones. And then I also found tie-dye scrunchies. There they are. Look at these guys. There's yellow, pink, and blue. Three bucks, so a dollar a piece for these really fun scrunchies. And I've been loving scrunchies lately. So those were a fun find. Then I have um, some Express jean shorts. I am now a partner with Express, so that's really been exciting. Um, they made me an affiliate, so every month I can get new pieces to show you guys um, from their website to post on Instagram, my blog, or just here on YouTube and do different things with, but I am loving their jean shorts right now, and I got a bodysuit that is currently in the wash. Um, I'll see if I can put a link to it here, um, but it looks really, really nice tucked into shorts or skirts and it's super comfortable. So thank you so much Express. I have another piece that is from, I think this one's from Walmart. Again, tie-dye, as you can see. <laughs> um, I got this one the other day for $4.99 and it is a crop top Polaroid camera. Very cool. This is either Target or Walmart. I'm not sure which one I grabbed this at. 
but I'm looking forward to styling, styling this probably with the scrunchie and the express shorts. <laughs> Another crop top I have is this one, which is this really cool vintage Mickey Mouse tee. Um, it kind of has like fading in it with like rainbow spotlight and then Mickey chillin' in a lilac purple. Very, very fun. This was up at the Florida Mall the other day. We went to um, check out to see if they had any stores open. They had five stores open in the entire mall, which was kind of sad, but this one was from a store called Mad Rag, and I had never been into that store before, and they kind of had a conglomeration of things, uh, but six bucks for a Disney t-shirt. So looking forward to styling that. Got some nice fun pieces for the spring. Um, another really exciting co collaboration. I am a partner with Hot Topic, here and there, not like every single month, but here and there when they need me. Um, I'm an influencer for them, and they sent me this Jack and Sally dress. You can see the pictures on my Instagram. They turned out really, really cool. We have like these swamp trees down the road from us. So I went and took some pictures there in this really fun dress, and they reposted me on the Hot Topic Instagram. So that was really, really exciting and just fun as a Disney fan to get Disney clothes. So. Thank you so, so much, Hot Topic, and the dress is beyond gorgeous. It's a skater dress style. You can check out some more of that, like I said, in the pictures if you want to see how it fits. Um, next up are these boots, which I grabbed off of Poshmark. I had these a couple years ago, and I wore them until I wore them into the ground, and they were completely ripped and broken, and I haven't been able to re-find these since, and I think that was a year and a half or two years ago. I wore them for my Mal costume, I believe, to Disney's Mickey's Not So Scary, and yeah, wore them in, and I haven't been able to find them since. I finally found them from somebody on Poshmark. They are brand new, so I'm very excited to have these boots back in my life again. I styled them with absolutely everything. They are a knockoff of the official designer dupe that's super super expensive but i think they're really cool they're one of my favorite shoes i've ever owned and i think she gave them to me for what is it, it was like 15 but i had a posh credit um because i'm a poshmark affiliate yay i have a lot of exciting affiliates going on right now i am a poshmark ambassador um trying to remember their correct term but basically I sell on there so you can go buy stuff from me if you'd like to. Um, I'll link that below as well. I have tons of Disney stuff you can check out. But I had some posh credit and found these shoes. I was very excited to get them. So happy I have them again. Alright, what else have we got here? Um, my other birthday gift has not arrived. Nate got me the Mandalorian Baby Yoda sweatshirt from Shop Disney. It says, cutest in the galaxy. It's adorable. I had my eye on that sweatshirt for forever, so I was really, really excited. He printed off a picture for me and gave it to me. Um, I think he ordered it at the beginning of April, and it is May 7th today? And it's still not here. I think it just shipped, so... Shipping is very, very behind. Be patient with your postman and be patient if you're ordering from any shops online as a online seller. Um, it's not our fault. It's not the post office fault. It's just everybody's kind of running behind. So be patient and be nice to people you buy from, please. <laughs> but one of my other ones from him was a gift card for Victoria's Secret and I got myself some nice silk satin pajamas and they are the classic pink and white satin short set they just arrived today so i will be hanging out in these later very excited because i've wanted the satin ones for a long time so that's exactly what i bought with a gift card it was no question next up is um this dress from the brand the copper closet so i had never heard of the copper closet before i will link their instagram they are basically like a anthropology but they do sales every week in store um and have really 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 good sales like insane so this dress was originally 35 dollars and then or no this dress was originally I think $50 then it was marked down on a clearance for $30 and then it was an additional 70% off of the ticketed price so I think this dress came out to nine bucks and it's this really cool off the shoulder off the shoulder 
ruffle dress with black and white polka dots and then the bottom kind of like flares out it's super fun super adorable uh yeah insane deal i will definitely be checking them out again so the plus side of the mall not fully being open was the fact that i got to discover some stores that i had never heard of so from that store i got this dress and this bobble sweater it is fab luxe fashion but it's a super like oversized cardigan and it has little bobbles all the way down it very very cool very cozy nice to just throw on and lounge in around the house so i am absolutely loving that and this i think came to 11 dollars. so this was my favorite find from the day of shopping at the copper closet but i'll definitely be going back you can check them out and see for yourselves what you like got a couple more pieces here this is by time and true it says oh happy days just a basic yellow t-shirt i believe this was five dollars walmart fashion y'all and then they had this sweatshirt that said escape the ordinary it is in this gray with pink and black writing it says escape the ordinary and then the sleeves are yellow so that's really kind of fun a little bit of color blocking there but just a nice comfy sweatshirt the last thing that i purchased was this bad boy right here 30 gel pens do i need gel pens probably not but i love gel pens and i had pretty much every gel pen you could ever imagine so when i saw these at fields today i was very excited they have glitter ones and everything so i'm gonna be taking notes in my notebook for video ideas or product ideas with some gel pens the last thing I have is this right here, which is from Influencer, and they sent me a box that has some Revlon in it, so we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. I think it's two lipsticks. Yes. So it says Revlon Influencer, uh, the new shine Revlon Super Lustrous Glass Shine, as well as the iconic cream Cherries in the Snow. Cherries in the Snow is actually my favorite Revlon lipstick ever. Um, I have another, probably one or two, just in case they stopped making it in my drawer. So, very happy to have this color. It's this really pretty, like, berry pink. It looks fantastic in the fall and winter time, but it also looks nice with the summer if you want to go for, like, a hot pink style. And this is the new one. So, let's see what this bad boy is. Ooh, it has a really pretty case. It looks very high end. Um, so this is in Nude Illuminator. It has a sticker on it. Bear with me. Let's see if we can open this. Get it. Okay, cool. So it has a flat base like this. Ooh, that's only the bottom lip, and look how much that shines. Okay, Revlon. Alright. I think that's a really pretty color. Um, it makes my lips look healthy and hydrated, which they have not the last few weeks, so I really like that. I think I'm definitely going to try this out this week, and maybe you'll be seeing me wearing it more, but I like it. I think it's a good one, and thank you so much, Influencer, for sending that along for me to try out. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap it up. That is pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for joining me in um, seeing what I bought while stuck at home. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and I'll see you around like a donut. Bye.